World leaders, including President Biden, gathering in Normandy, France, to commemorate the 80th anniversary of D-Day. The Allied forces invasion eventually led to the liberation of France and helped defeat the Nazis in World War II. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House with more. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, the White House honor the 73,000 Americans as stormed Normandy on this day 80 years ago as the U.S. and its allies thank them for their service. President Joe Biden joined world leaders and veterans in France to commemorate the 80th anniversary of D-Day, the Allied invasion of Normandy. The Allied forces of D-Day did their duty. A duty that was honored Thursday with the first family laying a wreath at the Normandy American Cemetery and then meeting World War II veterans. Hello, Mr. President. Welcome. Less than 1% who served during the Second World War are still alive. Survivors range from 96 to 107 years old as they recall their actions that helped defeat Nazi Germany when they stormed the beach on June 6, 1944. How did you get off that boat and go in on the beach? There was a job had to be done. Somebody had to do it. We did it. We must remember it, we must honor it and live it. And we must remember the fact that they were heroes here that day does not absolve us from what we have to do today. Today, Biden tried to rally allies to safeguard peace amid critical moments in the Middle East and in Ukraine. No, no, no. As President Zelensky shared an emotional moment with a veteran at the ceremony. We have to make sure that, uh, that Putin doesn't have the ability to trample Ukraine because, as the president said, uh, there's a good chance, uh, almost certain, that, uh, that Putin won't stop there. And we did just learn the U.S. is sending $225 million in military aid to Ukraine. It does include ammo they can use to strike over the Russian border. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.